In a weird twist of events, we got teleported throughout time and space and ended up in this medieval world with no way home. But luckily we found this book called Science of Portals, which speaks all about how we can stabilize the energy so that we don't abruptly teleport. So hopefully the book will also tell us how to get home, but for now I'm gonna keep it safe and store it right in here, because we cannot risk to lose it. We can however talk about how we're gonna stabilize the vortex energy so we don't abruptly teleport anywhere anymore. Well, this is awkward. We got teleported again. But this will definitely be the last time because we're gonna build this giant crystal to stabilize the vortex energy. And then we will start our life in the village. What goodies do we start with? We got some shoes and some pants. Uh, we got the quest book, obviously, we'll check that. We got jobs, ooh, introductions to that. We got some apples, we got materials anew, that is cool. Some torches, maybe, got an axe. Got a throwing stick, ooh, doggy talents, ooh, doggy charm, interesting, and two wheat seeds. Um, and the quest book, the qu ooh, that is loaded, ooh, that is loaded, hey, hey, shiny, hey, click the book, hey, XP, hey, logs, nice, ooh, shiny, click the shiny, ooh, quest book, we got that, XP, nice, and we got logs, then we got more apples, we got a lot of apples. Let's have a quick look around the village because we are definitely not settling in this biome but we can at least grab what we can see and what we can get. Ooh, loot chest. Will this spawn a monster? No, it doesn't. Emerald, paper, dried kelp. Is there a vein mine thing? There is. Nice. Obviously the entrance is by the water side. Anything in here? Ooh, vanilla fudge. Nice. What are these? What is a buddy card. Can I open it? I opened a buddy card and I got wheat grassling. We got buddy cards. Is it already sunset? Have I wasted so much time trying to get an intro for this video? Bed, 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 bed. I saw a dude running in here. There we go. Sorry, sir. I need this more than you. And if I don't use this, the monsters will come and eat both our faces. It seems that is all this village has to offer for us. So let's head north and find our home. I've barely moved and I'm already seeing points of interest. Love this design though, this is beautiful. Look at that, look at that detail work. A little abandoned cottage by someone? Anything up here? Nuggets of experience? Um, what do I leave? Do I care about these? I'm, I'm gonna regret throwing these away. But for now, I'll keep the shiny gold ones, I guess. Hey, there's an, there's, there's an up top. There's an up top. Ooh. Ooh, yes, please. I will have a crossbow with some arrows. What a lovely view as well. Ooh, a jungle. We definitely need to grab the bamboo. Definitely. Ooh, pumpkins. I can grab that as well. Let's just check this windmill. It's lovely that we have this decorative blocks we can use. Oh, we got create in this pack. Ho, ho, ho. I've wanted to mess with create more than I've done in the past because I've just dabbled in it that is lovely obviously that is the windmill from create hey pumpkins i'll grab the pumpkins and i'll put them in my sack i'll just just put them in my sack those are chimpanzees that is so cool i love packs that add extra animals chimpanzees it makes so much sense to have them in minecraft <sighs> inventory space Here's a potential spot that we can make home. I definitely want to find a village because we do need to do traditional villager things. Then we need some clear space so we can do the new villager things for this life in the village mod pack and all these things. And this is a night flat space there. I just don't like the biome blending happening there. At the back could be interesting. Then the problem is it becomes sparse jungle. Which technically could be fine, though it, it might have a weird shape. That's our mission now, is finding a nice place to settle. And I know I shouldn't settle too soon. And actually explore and look around a bit more. I love this river coming through, but that's gonna be super jungle over there, maybe. Yeah, that's gonna become more jungle. That's the catch, I don't wanna, I don't wanna live in a jungle. Ooh, laggy, please don't. Please don't laggy, no, don't. Nah. Nah, not this one. Let's find another one. Oh, I kind of got scared by these monkeys. These gorillas. I don't know if they're hostile. I maybe want to find out, but I don't because we can't afford to die. But then I saw 
So the treehouse in the jungle. We must. We absolutely must. This is so cool. I've never made a treehouse myself. So this is the first one I'm ever gonna explore. There's a way in. Is there a way up? Ooh, there are ladders. Composter, loot chest. I technically have all of these. I don't really... Ooh, potato. I want a potato. This is technically not ready for me to climb, but <laughs> we're climbing. We're making our way up. Getting up here. Ooh. Ooh, that is interesting. Hay bales in the roof. Good day, Freddy. You got nothing for me. Your jukebox got nothing for me. Don't you have, like, super chests and things? Cocoa beans, melon seeds, iron. I should take this first iron. I'm going to... What am I going to? What am I going to? I'm gonna throw that away. Higher we go. There's a bell. But there's only one villager. Is that it? That is it? All right. Let's check out this view before we continue on. We must. We absolutely must. Ooh, that's a nice flat space. What is that? What is that? That is a freaking castle. That is a lovely castle, which is probably going to destroy my frames. But uh, once again, we, <laughs> we got to look. I'm too curious. We got to look. But this time there should be hostiles inside because we can't be lucky and find friendly NPCs all over the place. There has to be hostiles. Yep. If you look on the mini map, there's pillagers inside of that. Pillagers, that's how you say it. Ah, that's so cool, but we'll have to get back to it. Luckily, we're loading it on the map so we can see it later on to get back to it. So, well, never mind. Let's just sneak past. Oh snap, that can't be friendly. Swim for your life, swim, 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 swim. Wait, does that mean there's sharks as well? That is red bars. Swim, move, dolphin it, mermaid it, move. I'm totally fine, I'm just overreacting. Hey, abandoned ship. There it is. For a second I thought this was going to be a useless uh, ship, but there's something here. Ooh. Increases experience dropped by creatures. We gotta put this in our hand. Let's drop that down there. And is it like a weapon? There I go. There I go. I equipped it. Nice. Nice. Okay. Found another village, but more importantly, I found that. Whatever that is. That's so cool. What's happening here? Oh, that's just campfires. That is interesting, and it looks like there's a wandering trader in there, and some parrots, maybe? And some special plants, I think? This is unfortunately not a super aesthetic area, so I won't be settling here. Let's go look at that big building. Did I say building? I meant tree and jackpot! <laughs> found diamonds! I don't have inventory space, but I found diamonds, and I found these weathered copper leggings and boots. We gotta wear those. Inventory space. With everything we've seen so far, I'm officially super excited to explore more of this pack and to play in this pack. I wasn't sure if I really wanted to, but technically I want to because I like the life in a village and I want to do more with that. And now I'm hooked. I'm booked. We're going. How do I get in here? This is an interesting village then. This is an interesting village then. Some bones. Ooh. Barrel booty. So there's a big pirate theme to everything. I want the bones. I don't have space. I don't have space for the bones. This is very interesting. Is this where we're going to settle? I'll have to look what this looks like. And then look what that looks like. Because maybe we want to settle close to this village. Because this is so different. So cool. It's so unique. I had a look around the area that is a bit too swampy. And there's a lot of flat space here. It's enough to do things in. We could fill that in, fill the water in, a lot of space there. Interesting mountain over there. But then I had the genius idea of rather settling over here by the castle. It is going to be intense to clear it out and make it safe so I can live in it. So that it can be my house, my home. And then we do all of... And then we do all of our life in the village things around it i love that idea i love that idea there's enough flat space there's a lot of water and ocean around us which is also interesting let me show you this side look at that that is such a great design imagine a whole village built around this castle that would be so cool 
I am so very much into that because I'm actually watching Wednesday, the Adams Family new series. So hooked in the themes and the things, and a castle makes so much sense for those kind of spaces. It's just gonna be a pain to clean out. But storming the castle will have to wait till next episode. I kinda let my hair down a little bit with this episode. Super relaxed, more of an adventure. Let me know if you like that more than the OCD editing kind of videos. Fast paced, you know, those kind of editings. What are you into? And can I make or should I make even longer episodes? Do you like the 20 minute episodes more than the 10 minute episodes? What do you think? I'm curious. I'm kind of interested in just letting my hair down and stop caring about anything anyways that's the castle this is gonna be home this is we're gonna we're gonna settle next episode we can hopefully storm this castle and be ready for that but by minimum we will start our village and kind of sneaky secretly throw away this whole storyline of being stuck between time and space and vortexes and portals but don't tell anyone i'm just gonna ignore that and sneak away from that all right thank you Goodbye.